because we all know when the scrum goes in the front of the net, there's some shit that, you know, might maybe on the average night. It's whatever, boys, whatever. A little, little punch here, a little punch there, go to the bench. But every now and then it gets to a little bit more than that. Mm-hmm. And maybe some refs can't, or excuse me, some linesmen can't handle that. What are your keys to success to keeping a game healthy within a game? I mean, I, I'm a communication guy. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's always been my thing. And some guys really like it. There's probably guys that don't. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I talk and stuff out there. But, you know, we alluded it to it earlier. We run the dial on the stove. Do you know what I mean? And it's about knowing where the dial and the stove is. And it's about knowing who's who and what's what and, and who's up against who. Like, I, I'll, I'll give you a story. I don't know if if you guys were here for it happened in Halifax. Do you remember when Boko jumped off the bench and... Spit on the goalie on his way out. Yes. I was there, upper bowl, remember, clear as day. Kelly Bent tried to fight Valeno. Do you remember who spear tackled Kelly Bent? No. You're talking to him. Oh, there he go. Both of those guys were on the podcast. (laughs) Gonna need an autograph after this. (laughs) So, but I knew, as anybody that's officiating in that league should, here's a guy that's 20, gonna fight a guy that's 16. He was 15. 15. That was that his was exceptional status here. 15. Boco? Years old. No, no. no. Kelly. Joe Valeno was in the league for St. John. Okay. His exceptional okay. yeah, status Yeah, sorry, here. sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. And then and, Kelly was given okay. to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and Boco used to play in a line with Joe for this reason exactly. And for whatever reason, he wasn't on the ice when this happened. So Kelly hits him. Like, it's not from behind, but it's a bit of a chintzy hit. I'm not the biggest Kelly Bent fan in the world, just saying. But anyways, a bit of a chintzy hit. Um, and that's okay, but it's when he cross-checks him and Joe turns around and now Kelly realizes who it is and he goes to fight him. And I'm they're like on the half wall bench side and I'm over on the far blue line. And I'm like, okay. oh my, this can't happen. Like... You can't have a 20-year-old fighting a 15-year-old in life. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. can't happen in life. Yeah. Like, r- remember what your body looked like at 15 and remember that it looked like at 20. Yeah. Like, you you would you would kill a 15-year-old. skeleton at 15. Exactly. Kill a 15-year-old. So I'm like, this can't happen. So I come flying across and I tackle Kelly and he's down on the ice. And I just screamed at him. like I was like, what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking right now? And I remember we got up and we turned and I looked. And here comes Boko from the bench, man. And I looked him in his eyes. And I have been on the ice in some senior games with some guys that are tough customers. And I know when that look in their eyes, like they're not coming to fight somebody because it's like, okay, you just hit my guy from behind. The wires and now are I, crossed. Right. Now I've, got to, now I've got to fight you because this is how this works and whatever. Like he was coming to hurt him and he was coming to hurt him, And he could have hurt him bad. Like, the, the guy's an animal. So, um, I just grabbed Kelly's head, and I tucked it into my chest, and I said, just hold on. And Brett Boyce did the best Boyce he could with Boko. Do you know what I mean? Like, that that guy's not a guy that you want to try to hook on to. And he hit me in the head 15 times. On your helmet. And then he got me in the chin. There's a video on, it was like. A big video on Sportsnet. I know the video. Yeah. Well, it's on YouTube still. Yeah, yeah. Clear as day, yeah. 1080p. Whenever I need to get jacked up. I'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he comes and he gets me with one in the chin finally. After a bunch in the helmet, which was like, it wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. And then he gets me with one in the chin. And I turned around. I pushed Kelly. And I looked him in the eyes. And I was like, fucking stop now. But he didn't. No, he did. Then he stopped. But he man, he was going till he left the ice. Well, th- then he was like, whatever, piss and spit at the goalie, but which, he was, was, which was garbage. I agree. But here's the difference. Let me tell you this. This is things people don't know. Okay. Kelly got suspended six, seven games, whatever he got suspended for. Boko got suspended 15, 15. 15. 15 games. Okay? So fine. Whatever. You come off the bench and you, you spit at the goalie. Like, you can't have that. I agree. Okay? I'm not disputing any of the suspensions. First time I see Kelly... After potentially saving his life, nothing. So I give it the first period, nothing. Second period, he comes out on the ice. I look at him. I go, not even a like, not even a thank you, man, or a tap on the shin pads, or like nothing. And he's like, well, that's your job, like whatever. And I was like, cool, man. I literally could have went, have at her. Do you know what I mean? And 
he would have killed you, right? So that's the part that, and I, I haven't seen Kelly since. So if he's watching, do you know what I mean? Like that's the part that upset me. Um, I'm working either Boko's. It was his first game back in St. John for sure. It might have been his first game back, and St. John always used to start him, starting lineup. You know, number forty nine or whatever he wore. I forget. 51. 51. For number 51, Boko Mama. And he would do this thing. He would come out. He would take like eight hard strides, and he'd do these high crossovers at the red the line. High step. Greeno's high step. And he, looked, and he looked like a raptor, and he would stare at the other bench. And it was one of the most intimidating things I've ever seen. I couldn't imagine playing junior hockey against that guy. Because it's literally like, I'm just not going to do anything stupid tonight, because if I do, that guy's going to kill me. It's that simple. Yeah. Number 51, Boko Mama. He comes out on the ice. He takes his helmet off. He takes his glove off and he skates directly to me. And he goes, Hicks, man, I'm sorry. I fucked up. Unreal. And I have the utmost respect for that. I said, Boke, listen, you had a job to do that night and I had a job to do that night and our jobs conflict it and we're going to leave it at that, bud. We're good. 